Hey people, what's going on? We're back with some more Mafia 3 DLC. We're going to be doing the next DLC, uh, Stones Unturned. Sorry if I'm a little low. It's kind of late. I'm not trying to wake up my family and stuff, so. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that right now. So we're going to be talking about Donovan. I also changed my outfit because I didn't know it was like new outfits until I finished the whole thing. So. There's also new outfits for this one, and the next one we'll be doing as well, so. I'll try to switch them up, but I don't know. We'll see. Depends on the DLC. Alright. hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. Wow, this is a hell of a car. How did you get your hands on it? It was a gift. A friend of mine car like this? That's a hell of a friend. This friend with me. Is it someone I know? No. Nah. Ex-company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole he worked with before your time. Man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. Two of you had some kind of falling out. The fallout would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of me. Something had to go down. Look. All you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitorous cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's in New Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never is. Fuck is Marshall. <laughs> Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Oh. <laughs> Ungrateful fuck. Uh, Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little birdie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Let's go. like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Jeez. God damn it. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? What kind of sick fuck shoots up a birthday party? Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him. And that life. Are you sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Now nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's uh, Brain. False alarm, he's dead. Okay, 
Yeah. So maybe he's a little off. Fucking Aldrich. We should see if Balmano's upstairs. Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Balmana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here. Tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! I got him. Oh. Try not to kill this one, Lincoln. Don't let that cocksucker get What's the goddamn hold up? Motherfucker, why? Doing the best I can here.
Don't let that cocksucker get away. Not a chance. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? Fair point. <laughs> Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Oh, is that an upman you're smoking? Goddamn right it is. <laughs> Moving up in the world. <clears throat> you guys uh, 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 uh. what's your name Fernando uh, la gente me llama huh people call me Chucky you let people call you Chucky <laughs> now, why would you you don't forget it there's a dead man upstairs names Balmana yes yeah, so so the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place what's that got to do with me you're not too bright are you Chucky oh fuck you're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Danny, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he used with that they need to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's the only thing I hear. Oh, my mother. Does that mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. Go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. <laughs> Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Uh. We can't just sit here. We need to get our asses to the safe house. The Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, okay. let's go. From the looks of that restaurant, Aldrich has some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. The cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Noong MSF battalion saved our asses last year. 
Those are some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. God damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is winding tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk to me. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. While all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our country. Oh, fuck you, man. Don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn grunts. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us. But we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine. Safe house should be coming up. We're here. Motherfuck! There's the way home. It's guarded, but under the circumstances, we should be okay. What's the layout of this place? The primary offices are outfitted with a mainframe computer system. Whatever Aldridge is here for, it's likely to be located there. God damn it! You see what I did to your friend here? <laughs> you can't! And are you going to be the same defiant motherfucker whose brains I'm going to rain down on this earth? No. Good. Now let's go. God damn it. They're going to kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop. Just hide. Shit. I'm taking Take a call. Take my exit. Take cover! Is that a mail room back there? Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those commie sympathizers? Yeah. How well? Hm. Fucking smart mouth cocksucker! Don't inquire. Just made it harder on yourself, pal! <laughs> Get your ass, no! 
Any more buddies? They're in the wind. Incoming! Get him lowered, Staff Sergeant! Shit. I'm taking cover there! Right there! Fuck, I'm trying to bury me! Security door has been engaged. You hang on to it. I'll slide on the <clears throat> helmet over for you from the other side. <clears throat> you got it? Got it. But make it snappy. Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, all for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. Yeah. Where's the fucking safe? There it is. There's no safe. Aldridge! <sighs> Welcome to the show, Johnny. Yes! You have one last chance. What's it going to be? <sighs> Don't tell that cocksucker anything. You gotta stand strong. Oh, that's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> Show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking head off. All right, all right. All right. All right. Just... Oh, you fucking coward. He's gonna kill you regardless. Attaboy. <sighs> from 
from the same. Find out what Aldridge was after. There's gotta be a key card around here somewhere. Check the desks, the bodies, everywhere. God damn it. Come on! Open oh, god damn it! Uh, uh, Motherfuck! Found the car. Shit, I'm taking cover! What the fuck is over here? Oh, shit! Good day! Good day! I bet it'll do them if you oh. do. Oh. 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 They're killing our people! Too long! None Come of you are getting out of here! They won't let me move! Shoot him from the side! and get this door open. God damn it! What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last ten years. Fuck! What the hell's this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Dvachka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out. He doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Paez before Aldridge does. Aldridge, when did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldridge was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. 
So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this in the Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down Kyle. unload some of this cash in the hollow. Be there soon. Got something I can hang Better on to for this. you? On my way. Call me if you need me.
Let's go. We need to get Pius. One of my guys picked up chatter on the wire. A crew of Altus men are moving towards Pius as we speak. Think you can get us there ahead of them? I'm up for trying. Good. Let's go. The department store Pius works out of is up in Frisco Fields. A place called Bois Rose. Yeah, I've heard of it. We'll be there before you know it. How exactly does an old money shop like West Rose end up employing a cubicle? Watch the road! Watch it! Anyway, as I was saying, how exactly does an old money shop like West Rose end up employing a Cuban exile working for the CIA? Old money comes with a lot of old secrets. And 10,000 taxpayer dollars each month. You motherfuckers call me a criminal. Come on, my grandmother can drive faster than this. Well, let's go get the old bag and see what she can do. There's Washerose. No sign of Aldridge's mercs. Cassandra this told hour, me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with the phones. Sure thing. Let's get in there and find him. You there? Oh, I'll get one cleared. We're closed. Motherfucker, do we look like we're here to buy a goddamn blender? Paez, where is he? Look, last time I saw him, he was on the third floor. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and you and your crew who want to keep breathing should clear out. There are some real assholes on their way here. Some of this shit costs more than I take home in a year. Yeah, but you spend it on cheap booze and loose women. The booze is never cheap. Hey, pal. Get out of here. Cops are on their way. They know about you. Oh, shit. Thanks. You buy it? Depends. Who the fuck is asking? Some motherfuckers who are trying to keep your ass alive. We need to move. Now. Following your lead. Hey, uh, somebody do Got something! Got your ass now! Got your ass now! Get it down! Got nowhere to go! I've hurt him! Get down. I'm in I Frisco and I need supplies! Be out directly. Where the bullets? with me. Sneaky it is. Quiet as a mouse. Got your ass no! Don't let it go for you! Don't! Don't think about it! Shoot it! Let me help send you Don't on your way. I ain't scared of you! Get 
me some cover and fire, Frisco. You got it. We'll be around shortly. I can assume that they want me dead, and you want me alive. You most Found certainly him. can, bro. Just had to stop some. Ah, hey, do worry about you. I'm not gonna let one, <coughs> one fucking bullet slow me the down. Day the day you die. I'm caught here. They're killing our people. They won't let me move. They're killing our people. Don't think about it. Shoot him. Taking orders. Come with me. Shoot him from the side. He's throwing. They are killing our people. He won't. Yes. Gentlemen, I think we found our ride out of here. Pius, you're riding shot. Lincoln, I'm on this one. You read my mind. Make 
me replace this uniform. Eso cabo. Clones. Ah, coño. Shoot those fuckers on the right. Light up. Oh. Yeah, I don't suppose say either of you is a doctor. This has been fun, fellas, but uh, I think I'm gonna need a doctor now. Fuck, more assholes on our left. Get those fuckers off our asses, Lincoln. <laughs> That's it. Brace yourself. Here we go. Oh, shit. Of them. Pius, how you feeling? Uh, anybody else cold? Hold tight. We'll get you patched up. We need to get him inside. <sighs> Hold on, buddy. We brought you a live one. Yeah, I can see that. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened to you guys? One of Aldridge's men clipped him. Oh, God, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. Uh, Tell me your name. Reuben. Reuben, well, lucky for you, I've had my fair share of battlefield Do you know what that means? No. Things are going to be just fine. Uh, Looks like the bullet went clean through. All right, move your hand. This is gonna hurt. Ah! Yeah. Hey, your plane. Where is it? There was a storm. Yeah, we know about the storm. Where'd you go down? Uh, last readings was uh, 22.5 degree latitude and uh, 87, 87.9 degree longitude. Where the fuck were you heading west? After that shit with, with Kennedy, Khrushchev told Fidel to return the warhead. He didn't want to send with the disassembled missile, so we arranged to meet the Russians uh, at an airstrip uh, outside of Mexico City. Perfect. Thanks, Paez. And cago en tu madre. Huh? Sure. Look, I'm gonna get us a boat. You meet me when you're ready. You got this? Yeah, go on. Get your boy here patched up and out of town. Hey, hey, 